if you are planning to manage a machine learning project then this video is for you kindly ensure you watch this video till end because i am going to discuss five pointers which will help you to analyze the important areas to manage a machine learning project okay now who am i to talk about this so i have 10 plus years of industry experience in data science and data related areas i have seen many projects and i have seen the common problems in those projects so i will tell you how you can analyze and how you can take the right decision before starting a project let's start guys before going further please go ahead and press the subscribe button because that is a source of motivation for me okay please do that that helps me a lot first pointer guys that you have to ask yourself when you are going to manage a machine learning project so called machine learning project okay very first thing you have to ask yourself from your experience and from you know team experience i will say just ask and analyze is this a really machine learning problem okay first thing to ask now machine learning looks fancy machine learning sounds fancy and i was reading a funny quote in google saying what it says is don't afraid to launch a project without machine learning don't be afraid to launch a project without machine learning which means that everybody is some way or other trying to force fit machine learning in their solutions okay so if you are a project manager you will be able to relate what i am saying everybody in their ppt is right they will try to put a box of ml intelligence cognitive intelligence artificial intelligence this sounds fancy okay but the problem on the ground since you will be managing that project right so problem on the ground is it really ml problem if it's not say it's not an ml problem first thing guys say it don't be afraid in saying it's not a machine learning problem it's a simple dashboarding problem it's a simple reporting problem it's a simple data migration whatever it is okay if it's not not machine learning it's not machine learning point number 1 point number 2 is what platforms i am having to solve this problem and what data i am having to solve this problem very very crucial very very important okay many a times many a times what will happen is they will give you some data in excel sheet some 1000 records many a times the stakeholders are not from machine learning background the stakeholders don't understand how machine learning works how statistics works how the training happens the technicalities of the thing i am saying okay so granular level technicalities stakeholders don't understand and they sometimes they think that with 1000 records in excel sheet we can train a very good model which is not true sometimes they may think that with limited information about customer we can do some very good customer analysis which cannot be done so for example if i tell you hey i have to do customer profiling of flipkart customers okay and then for customer profiling i just give you the customer name and customer transaction volume will be will you be able to do a very good profiling of the customer or bucketing of the customer no you need some more features for example customer age customer gender customer order frequency customer order volume customer order whatever you need right whether customer is active in the discount period customer is buying on the original price many things customer is interested in electronics or you know household items all these features if you get you can do a better profiling but if i give you only customer id and one more field you can't do that right so you have to ensure you have the right data if you don't have idea on what is right data take help from an expert if right data is not there say that this data is not sufficient okay both in terms of volume in terms of features i am saying okay in terms of number of rows in terms of number of columns in terms of number of customers in terms of attributes of the customers okay then the next question comes what platform you are getting to do the analysis sometimes what will happen is stakeholders or somebody you know um, somebody expecting things from you will expect you to do things in your local machine now there are many limitations of the local machine for example if i give you a huge data set with many features it will be very difficult for you to you know build or train a very good model in your local machine sometimes you may get caught in a situation where you will be asked questions like hey why can't you do it in your local why you need a certain configuration why you need a certain infrastructure so what is question number 2 guys data availability in terms of records in terms of features infra availability in terms of how much data you are handling and if infra will be able to handle that data or not ask these two questions first what is the third one 
what let uh, who are the stakeholders here important thing is who are the stakeholders so i am t telling about stakeholders again and again right now suppose your stakeholder is somebody who is from a uh, machine learning background or somebody who understands machine learning who understands business right in that case uh, he or she will be able to understand okay this guy is saying this data is insufficient so maybe this data is insufficient okay this guy is saying that you know this is very limited number of records machine cannot be trained properly on this so your stakeholder will understand that if he or she understands how machine learning works but take another scenario where a stakeholder doesn't understand anything about ml then how you how you will make him or her understand that you know this is insufficient or this will not happen or even the model results output right the coefficients of your regression models the roc auc score anything that comes out of the machine learning right so know your stakeholders and what will happen is it will help you to present your result in a better way suppose your stakeholders are from business background what you will do when you present model output you will tweak the model output you, you will keep less of technical things more of business things if somebody from technical background you will put all the details of you know how the data flow is happening what the model is telling all those things know your stakeholders very very clearly it will give you an impression it will give you a direction of how to prepare your model output or you know when you are presenting when you are talking results how to talk the results okay then comes the important question of what are the risks involved now many a times in machine learning project what will happen is there will be certain amount of risks involved suppose suppose i i start doing customer profiling of flipkart like the example i gave you right and then i say to flipkart hey you know there are five categories of customers in your in your organization in your you know customer bank and this is one type of customer this is other type of customer this is third type of customer that is why my kmins that is what my kmins clustering is seeing but when flipkart tries to run some campaigns do some analysis on those clusters the results are not as expected this can happen very very common thing to happen this is one kind of risk okay we don't know until we go into production we don't know how that model will perform second kind of risk can be related to infra so sometimes what may happen is let's say infra is going on some maintenance and there is a delivery date right so if infra is going on you know some maintenance is going on your delivery date might get impacted these are general things that you have to accommodate in your planning hence i am telling you that okay so say that dependent on this dependent on this dependent on access dependent on infra availability dependent on data availability dependent on this approval that approval all the risks identified put it that is going to help you if you know um, you are well aware of the risks it is going to help you to uh, it will not put you in a in a position where everything will, will come on you as a blame okay identify more and more risks put it document it okay and then comes how do i measure the success very very important criteria what is the uh, you know parameter to measure the success of the model so when we learn machine learning we say that okay this is 80 percent accuracy 85 percent accuracy this is a good model in production sometimes even 99 percent accuracy is not a good model sometimes 70 percent accuracy 60 percent accuracy is also good model how do we measure the accuracy for unseen data that is another topic of discussion that we will see later but um, how do you define success of your model for example uh, how i will say that okay this model is what i was looking for okay so you have to measure that very very uh, clearly in terms of numbers for example i will take the training data up to august and i will i will predict my my uh, machine learning model on september data if my accuracy is beyond 80 percent this model is going to go to the production if not this model is going to come back and we are going to retrain it something like this if i am doing a k-means clustering and i am running campaigns on those, those clusters then my campaign response would be more than x percentage if it is not more than x percentage then my model is not a proper model i am going to go back and retrain the model so measure your success very very clearly okay so what are the five points i discussed guys before starting a machine learning project i will just tell you one more time identify if it's at all an ml problem if not say it no second thing check your data and infra availability and also based on your data if things are fine okay third thing is uh, who are the stakeholders you have to identify what are what is their background what type what kind of output they want to see more okay then you have to identify your risks all kind of risks document it it is going to help you and then how do you measure success it has to be very very 
accurately defined in terms of numbers if possible okay all these things is going to help you in managing your machine learning project if in your first project you do the, these things you will learn many things on the go and then your life will be easy obviously all of us are learning on the job right so please keep in mind these things guys give me a thumbs up if you like this video i will see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care